So on our screen in front of us, we have Band in a Box. For this week's video, I'd like to just give you a short explanation of how to create a song. The full scope of all that Band in the Box can do is way beyond this video. Uh, what I'd like to spend time on is showing you how to set up a song in Band of the Box. So if you're a songwriter or a live performer, this is for you. To get started, we're looking at our screen and uh, just a, I'll just spend a little bit of time here on our interface. All these things up here again allude to the many things Band of the Box as a program will do. Um, this over here on the right side of the screen, these are the instruments I have selected so far in a style. But what I'm going to do, we'll start with a new song. So we have a new song. You see there's no chords. Uh, the song has no title. There's kind of a default style right out of the box. Actually, I used this on a previous song, so it's still held in there. Then we'll go over to this box. Now this one, it says, it tells us this is where the song will start. Click mouse on a bar or type bar number to select the bar for the chorus to begin. We're gonna go ahead for this example and start our chorus in bar one. You may have a different arrangement when you get into this and use it, but we'll start it on one. Now, this tells us how long our song is gonna be. Click the mouse on a bar or type a bar number to select the last bar of the chorus. Well, for today's purposes, I'm gonna have a five, I'm gonna end it at bar five. So I put a five in there and our screen changes. And just a little explanation here. We have one, two, three, these are measures, four, five, and our end, if you can see that little END right there, our song is gonna end in bar six. And then this last number over here, this tells us how many choruses are we gonna play. We can play a lot of choruses, as you see, but we're just gonna play one for our example. Now down here, we have our time signature, 4-4, four, four. We have all these choices. We're going to keep it simple for right now. We're going to leave it at 4-4 four, four time. And here's our beats per minute, 75. So pretty medium tempo. So let's get started. Here's our C chord. I'm going to go ahead and leave that. I'm in the key of C. I'll go to my second measure. And here I just press F and F shows up in the second measure. Then I'll go to G, then I'll go to A minor. Now I'm only hitting the A and the M, I'm not even using the shift key and you see how it capitalizes that A minor chord for us. Okay, that's four chords. Here is our fifth chord. We've got C, F, G minor. And I'm gonna go ahead and end it back on the root. So this is what we have so far, a five measure song. Here's our play button. We'll click this and hear what we got. Okay, so there's the end of our song right there. Now the song automatically loops. Let's stop for just a second. And I wanna show you 
how to get a different style in here. We click that little arrow and we come to something that's already checked called the style picker. Now here it says the second option I like it says choose style similar to the current style. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. What comes up in our next window is all the styles the program found that are similar to the one I'm using. So uh, let's try just the next one. Now if I want to audition it before I go back to my chord sheet, I just hit play. It generates the tracks for me and plays the sounds. I'll go ahead and let it loop. Let's see, what's this country sound like? Let's try it out. And see that styles changed up here in the blue. So I've got the same chords. I haven't changed a thing. Same tempo. Totally different sound. Okay, so that was real quick just to show you how easy it is to start a song in Band of the Box. To go on and show you how to do one more thing, first thing I'm going to do is say, okay, the style chooser goes away. Now I'm going to start a new song. And what I want to do with this song is show you another option for getting your chords into your song sheet. And that is using a keyboard attached, um, a MIDI keyboard attached to your software. So the secret to doing this is number one, we play the chord and then you hit command enter on a Mac. And then this next chord, we're going to play an F chord and our F chord shows up. We go to the next measure. We're going to play a G chord. Command Enter. Next measure. Let's play an A minor. There's our A minor chord. And we'll go ahead and end it on the root C chord again in the key of C. Command Enter. So now, what, what's that sound like? Play it back. song sheet using a MIDI keyboard. So what we covered in this short video is an introduction to Band in the Box. How as a songwriter or a live performer wanting to create some backtracks, you can pretty easily and in a short amount of time come up with a chord chart to begin mapping that song into the software. Hey, if this was helpful, I hope you'll leave me a comment, maybe a thumbs up, subscribe. Uh, questions? Sure. Use the comments in the video behind the, underneath the video description. Let me know what you think, questions you have, maybe what you'd like to hear next about Band of the Box. Again, it's a very full featured program. We have just skimmed the surface in this video. Thanks.